Hi, we're at the outside of the Pigeon Palace, which is a six unit co-op building, part of the San Francisco Community Land Trust. We're on Folsom Street between 24th and 25th Street. And we're gonna take you on a little tour of the building to see the vacant apartment. All right, here we go. Your new address if you get this apartment. It's a middle apartment, it's on the second floor of a three floor building. We just had it all refurbished, so it's all freshly painted. The walls have been repaired. The floors are fantastic. Nice wooden floors, all refinished and beautifully stained. So I'm going to turn around first to show you back the long way. We just came up this stairwell to the second floor. That's the long hallway down to the other end of the house facing to the west. And we're at the front of the house on the Folsom Street side. And this is the first room above the stairwell. As you can see, there's a nice view out to the street. Can be noisy once in a while. Not too bad, although occasional fire trucks and whatnot. Buses go by. And then you have a closet in this room. It's a perfectly nice bedroom. And you can see that we also had heat installed since the last people lived here and new light fixtures. So every room has forced air heat. Lucky you. The, the double room in the front. You can see the former fireplace. Now it's all capped off. You can fix, put anything you want in there. There's double sliding doors, pocket doors that they actually work. And you could close them off that way. And then you have the curving windows, perfect for the writer's studio if you're a writer. This can be even more text. Yeah. There's a closet in there. <laughs> but yeah, I think we just get them. We let them see it. Okay. Here's a strange little room that's mostly a, a large closet. But somebody uses it as a music studio right across from here. And there are things you can do with that room. And we have our another bedroom. This is officially the master bedroom. It's a pretty good sized room. There's a closet. And you're in that inner shaft facing to the north. Classic Victorian double bathroom, toilet in one room and shower and sink in the other room. This has not been recently remodeled, <laughs> but it's not in bad shape. Then we come up here to the front of the house and uh, or the back of the house, depending on which orientation you have. All of us go back and forth on that all the time. This is facing the backyard. And there's three windows that have been recently replaced. <coughs> And it's a nice sunny, sunny thing in the after, late afternoon. We're shooting this around one o'clock on, on the Fourth of July, so you have an idea of what the light is. There's yeah, another former former fireplace, no longer in use. And then you have a closet and a place to put all your your dishes and all that kind of stuff if you want to use. This is traditionally the dining room, this apartment, and it's right off the kitchen, which is right through there. And then we'll go out for a little while and see the backyard, but as you can see, it's a pretty nice lush backyard, plain to see from your house. Then you're in the kitchen, and there's a pantry. There's your new heater that runs the heat of the, of the apartment, and there's still room to make a big pantry in here for food and other things. There's your fridge. You have your water heater here. We have a little, you can put a screen in front of it so you don't have to look at it, or you can even build a shelving system over it. A gas stove, a sink over there. Some of us have shelves above the sink that we use for drainage. You can check out our other apartments when you move in to see how to make best use of this kind of a space. There's room for shelving and cabinetry and whatnot if you want to add that in. And then here in the back porch, uh, which 
four of the units have washers and dryers back here. This particular unit does not at this time, although it has all the connections for it. So if you want to have a washer and dryer back here, you can. Hi, my name's Keith, and I've lived in the building for almost 20 years, uh, and it's been a land trust for five years. Um, we meet once a month, or we try to, just to have a collective sense of taking care of the building and the property. The backyard and the basement spaces are shared, so we need to figure out how to manage those things together, and um, we're looking for someone who wants to live not just in a house, but in a community. Hey, hi, I'm Joel St. Julian. Uh, this is Jean-Michel, and we live in 2046, Pig Palace. Um, my wife and daughter are away in New Hampshire. They're on a trip. We, we live in San Francisco. Yep, we've been living here, I think it's been close to five, probably five years, maybe a little more. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, we just love this neighborhood, love this community, love being part of it. Thank you. Yeah, and we're very grateful to be here. Hello, my name is Finn. I live in the Pigeon Palace, along with Hollis, who is hiding over here. Hi. His partner, Molly, and their daughter, Elia, who is three. Um, and we love living here collectively. We're really excited about having more working class tenants, getting permanent housing in the mission. And it's a really lovely place with lovely people. A beautiful backyard which doesn't happen too often in San Francisco um, and I work at Rainbow Grocery um, and Molly is a tenants rights organizer Hollis is a unemployed union man <laughs> <laughs> and Elia um, likes making art Hola, mis futuros vecinos. Mi nombre es Adriana y vivo en el Palacio de las Palomas. Les quiero contar un poquito de nuestro edificio. Eh, tenemos un apartamento que se ha abierto, que se desocupó y que esperamos que metan sus solicitudes este, para aplicar a, a la vivienda asequible aquí. Pero sí les quiero contar un poquito de nuestro edificio para que sepan a qué se estarían metiendo. Y bueno, aquí somos seis departamentos y... Nosotros tratamos de ser auto administrados, es decir, antes de involucrar al arrendador, entre los vecinos tratamos de resolver nuestros propios problemas e incluso somos quienes les traemos las soluciones como grupo al arrendador. Eso quiere decir que hay una expectativa de juntarnos, tratamos de juntarnos una vez al mes y de esa forma también nos conocemos mejor, conocemos qué, qué, qué tipo de familia somos y qué necesitamos y cómo nos podemos apoyar. Y bueno, no, hay, no es mucha la expectativa, pero eso es este, más o menos como nos llevamos. Y, y bueno, no, no, no todo es perfecto, pero les diría que aquí estamos muy contentos en el sentido de que estamos tratando de mantener eh, vivienda asequible uh, para la comunidad. Y aquí somos, hay artistas, hay este, eh, terapistas, hay personas que trabajan en organizaciones sin fines de lucro, una cocinera, yo soy escritora, este, organizadora comunitaria, también es, mi esposo es historiador. Y bueno, están, nos da mucha emoción de conocer quién va a ser este, la familia o el grupo familiar o eh, nuestros nuevos vecinos y vecinas. Bien, bienvenidos. Hi, I'm Chris Carlson and I live in the Pigeon Palace along with all my wonderful neighbors and we've been here, some of us, for quite a long time. I got here in 2004 and uh, we were all part of a big struggle to get the building so we're very pleased to be able to stay here and have fairly affordable rents, some of us very affordable, some less so, but uh, in any case it all works out in the end and uh, we can't really easily be evicted so that's a really great safety net for us and I'm one of many people in San Francisco who just would not be here anymore if it wasn't for this possibility. So hopefully when you move in you can appreciate how great that is to be able to live in a stable community and participate in it because that's something that makes this place what it is, is the ability of all of us to manage our own experience together. We don't have the legal control of the building that we would like to have, 
but we do have de facto control. We decide and we run this building ourselves. And so when you move into this building, you're moving into that process with us. And we look forward to your participation and the skills you bring to that process and the possibilities you bring to, to make it even better than it is already. Hello there, I'm Karin. I've been living in the Pigeon Palace for about 13 years. And I am a chef and a community organizer, and I'm living in the unit below the one that's for rent. I hope you have a great day, and there you go.